What's up, Michael here with another Webflow tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide a section in Webflow. Now, I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. One is a really easy and simple way. And the second is a much more powerful option that is great for large websites who have a lot of the same kind of classes going on. And it's actually the kind of technique that myself and a lot of Webflow developers tend to like to use. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So once you're logged into your Webflow designer, you simply want to go over to the navigator. It should be on the left hand side with these little three little lines. You want to then click on the section that you want to hide. So I'm going to hide this top header section. And then you simply go over to the style panel and hit this little eyeball with a slash through it. It's called display none. Simply click on that and there you go, the entire section is hidden. You can actually use this technique to hide any element in Webflow, not just sections. So that's the first option, I'm gonna undo that. Now the re way this op the reason this option kind of falls short sometimes is if I would hide, when I hide this section, it hides every element on my entire website with this same class. But if I'm just working on this page and I want to hide just this section and no other section on the page that may have the same class, this um, technique kind of falls short. Now I could just add another class, a subclass, and then hide it. However, that can get a little messy, especially when you're working with a massive website. So what you want to do is really simple. Just go over to the add panel, drop in a div block. Doesn't matter where you drop it, we're going to delete this here soon with your div block selected, go over to the style panel and give it a class. Now I, I like to give it a class of is hidden or you can give it a class of hide. I like is dash hidden because it fits into my um, class naming convention a little bit better. With that class applied, you then wanna click on the display none icon. Now that's gonna hide the div, however we want to now delete it. So go over in the navigator, find where it is, it should already be selected, and then simply delete it. Now, if you're wondering what are we doing here, basically what we're doing is we're creating a global class. And a global class can be applied to any other class as a subclass, and it will only apply that one style attribute that we applied. So just to show you how this works, I'm gonna take the same header section that we hid before, and as you can see, it's now not hid. I'm gonna go up to the selector in the style panel and I'm gonna type in is dash hidden. And you can type in whatever you want. Right here, you're gonna see it auto recommends it as a global combo class. Now I'm gonna hide this and you're gonna see, or I'm not gonna hide it, I'm gonna click on the class to add the class and you're gonna see it right away applied the class and hid the header or hid the section. Now what's really cool about this is every other section on the site that may have this um, class won't be affected. They may be wondering why do this? Why can't I just quick add a class here? Well, it takes out a lot of the work for future development. So I'm gonna scroll down and so let's say I wanna take out this, um, this section right here. I can just quick click on that, add the class is hidden and it hid that section as well. Because what I would have to do otherwise is I would have to go in here, type a whole class name in, and then add the style, hide it. It's just a lot of extra work, and when you're working on a massive website, this can speed up um, your process a lot faster. And actually, that's a really, that's a pro tip for you. You can use this same method for pretty much anything. Like if you wanna quick apply padding, or if you wanna quick apply a width, a max width, or something like that, you can create a global class with that one style applied and any class you add it to as a subclass, it will automatically apply that style. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, feel free to give a like or to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Also, I am a Webflow developer and offer Webflow consulting. So if you are having any trouble with this kind of stuff, feel free to go to the link in the description below and I'd be happy to help you out if I can.